Good morning, welcome to my next video. As you can hear, it's quite windy outside, but it's gone quite warm compared to what it has been for the past week or so. I just woke up, so I need to take these for a walk, but the Loch Morlick swim is happening today. Um, I can hear the tannoy from here. So I might wander down there and have a look at what's going on over there. Um, as you can see, I've got my bike battery on charge just in case. Brian fancies going for a pedal. I don't know if he will in this wind, though. I'll speak to him when he gets up. Um, yeah, I am. As you saw from my last video, I just climbed the Shallow Mine Gap yesterday. I'm stiff today and quite achy. Um, I slept like eight hours right through, didn't wake up. Not like me at all. I was knackered. <laughs> I'm down by the lock. It's quite windy down here, actually. Um, Doug is being a pest this morning. I don't think I'll be able to let him off if there's a triathlon going on. You can see all the safety features out in the lock. <coughs> And there's some of the swimmers. Hold on, there they are. Not the best day for swimming today, to be fair. There's quite a lot of people over there. You two wanna go for a run? Hold on a minute. Okay, one. like how they fenced it all off so the dogs didn't want to go over there they saw the fence and then they just automatically came in this direction she's barking at people playing frisbee come on you blind bat she's uh, not got very good eyesight anymore at the moment bless her the wind's pretty bad so we're heading back seeing if the pine martin's open for breakfast for me and brian we hope it is it hasn't been for the last few days I tell you what, the wind got up a lot, but it's still quite warm. I'm like a lot warmer than it has been the past few days. I've had to turn the radiator off at the bar. Um, caravan, even. It's time to get back and give these their breakfast, I think. Okay, time for my break. <coughs> so it's five o'clock. I'm on till ten. So I'm gonna have something quick to eat. It is the Loch Morlick swim today. So that's what all the swimmers are in the Loch for this morning. Then tomorrow we've got the triathlon happening, so we are rammed, absolutely full. It's so busy. But we'll see how it goes. It's very windy today. That lock was choppy. I don't envy them swimmers. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon. Not until it goes a little flat and still in there anyway. Don't mind the cold. I don't like the waves in my face. So I've let these two out for a pee. I'm going to make some dinner. Good morning, all. I'm sorry I didn't pick the camera up last night because... It's Kerry's last night with us for a couple of weeks. She's going away. Um, so we all went to the pub and didn't get in until half past 11. So, so I'm a little bit croaky this morning. There was a singer on it. It was a really good night, actually. So the triathlon is on today. Um, I think to do swim, bike, run. So they'll be starting off in Loch Mullick. So I'm going to take the dogs for a little walk, have a look. Um, the winds have dropped and it's still very warm here. Um, so... I'll take these two down to the lock. Do you want to go down to the lock? Yeah. Do you want to go down to the lock? <laughs> now let's see what's going on. So today is Sunday and it's the triathlon today. Then I think next weekend we've got September week. I think it's a Scottish holiday. And then hopefully the weekends are going to get a little bit quieter. And Glenmore's going to get a little bit quieter and I'll get the place back to myself on my runs and walks because <laughs> it's been rather busy lately 
So there are tents down on the lock, so I'll see if I can let them off on the beach. I know they don't, they're starting the triathlon there with the swim. Um, I think it ends down in Badagouche. I haven't really looked, to be honest. I just know we've got a lot of uh, very fit people on site. People say I'm fit. Uh -uh, no, not compared to these guys. Um, and I'm not fit compared to me either. <laughs> I'm definitely not very competitive, put it that way. I like to walk, I like to run at my own pace. I like to swim at my own pace, but I'm not competitive. But yeah, it's uh, good for the site because we're full the next two weekends. We're actually full tonight on a Sunday night, which is mad. Um, it's actually cooler outside than I thought it was and I'm a little bit cold. So this week I'm just plodding through this video, it's probably not going to be very interesting. I'm getting Gladys ready to go away on Wednesday, Thursday, it's currently Sunday. And I think I might go up to the coast, I think I might go up to Nairn. Um it's about an hour away from here. And I went to see the sea, <laughs> so that's where I think I'm probably headed. Uh, it looks like the weather's supposed to be good so far, we never know, it changes quite a lot of it. And I'm already getting the little anxiety wobbles about going away in the van. Um, I just worry about everything. I worry I'm going to break down, worry... Yeah, I just worry about stuff, but I have to force myself to do things. So I'm going to get the van ready and then head off probably on Wednesday morning. Come on. He's been a pain in the butt this morning. <laughs> As you can probably tell, I am feeling a little bit brighter than I was. Um, still feel like I'm climbing out of a bit of a hole but that walk with Mick the other day really helped get me out of my own head for a while um concentrating on not falling over <laughs> that was good for me <laughs> And then the week after um, I've been to Nairn, that's my plan, my mum's coming up, so it's a busy couple of weeks. <laughs> so obviously we'll be going away in the van while my mummy's here, but hopefully I can do some stuff with uh, her and the friend Trish is coming up as well. So yeah, that's going to be good. I took the Tuesday off, so I'm off with them Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I'm hoping we can go and do some fun things. Autumn has definitely started here in the Cairngorms. There's uh, pine needles dropped all over the site. A lot of the trees are turning quite brown. And uh, I think some of the birds have gone, the siskins have gone. I've seen one or two little ones that are probably not going to survive because they've not made the flight. Um, but yeah, a lot of the birds have uh, gone away. While well, I'm just meandering along with my own thoughts, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who left such positive, wonderful comments on uh, my video where I was a bit sad. And uh, emails and messages, you've all been so amazing. And, and, and I know I'm not a failure, it's just sometimes those negative thoughts win. <laughs> I'm trying very hard not to let them, but yeah, it's a process. Should have brought my flex tails, there's the midges down here. I thought they'd all gone after that frost. There's not been many of them. Um, there's a few down in the compound where the lads have been working, but not that many up where my caravan is like usual. So hopefully that's the last of them for this year. So the seasons are starting to change and all the leaves are dropping the trees. So I'll be here for another season. And that's spring, I've seen, summer. And now we're going into autumn in this beautiful place it seems to change every single day you look at it <laughs> so maybe that's my cue to start dropping the negative attitude and embracing a more positive one it's funny i can hear a really low down plane but don't really hear them here very often i heard one the other night actually but daisy just stopped and looked because she's not heard something like that for oh quite a while um, obviously we heard all the jets um when we were in the lakes last year but yeah other than that 
not consistent like he was when we live very near Manchester Airport. He just stood staring because she didn't understand what the noise was, bless her. Just missed it with the camera, but there was a river, uh, a heron in the river fishing, and I've just seen it like, fly off through the trees. <laughs> I've not seen one here before. Probably very uh, shy. Starting to feel little spots of rain. If I don't hurry up this pair, I think we're going to get wet. They are proper dawdling this morning. Look at all the cherries on that tree. Why I keep getting the uh, berry coloured bird and duck poo all over my caravan and my van. And at some point I need to take the van to the jet wash. Um, I think we've got a jet wash on site actually. I'll have to see if we can dig that out and give it a wash. Give it a treat. But obviously I have no sponges, no bucket, no car wash stuff to wash my van so I'll have to buy all that. <laughs> these things I normally when I lived in Manchester obviously I had Stephen he liked washing the cars so he just did it and then there was jet washes as well that did it for you um yeah but now I think the closest one is about 20 miles away it's not close <laughs> okay so I can smell something down there she's just uh started running <laughs> I don't know what that is it's very quiet down here I wonder if they're doing the swimming on another part of the lock I'm gonna look I think they're doing it over there, on that part. My side of the lock is very peaceful. Other than me tripping over branches on the beach. It's actually a lot calmer than it was yesterday. <coughs> She's barking at all the ducks. <coughs> oh look, they're up there. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, there's some people packing away a tent. There's a few dogs down here. So we'll head back to the caravan, get these their breakfast. So my breakfast though. Oh actually I think we're having breakfast rolls in work, so maybe not sort my breakfast out. I uh, still have a pretty full fridge. I'm not eating still not eating a lot. I need to try and make my way through some of that food. <laughs> okay, time to go to work. Eleven till eight. I'm tired today. I could do with just doing what they're doing. They look so comfy. I've opened the window because it's that warm. Every time I turn the camera around, he's doing this at the minute. You being a knobhead? Mm. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll probably pick you back up in a bit. Okay, shift done for a bit. I want to go and have a shower and then I'm on the walk round at 10. So that's the walk round done. Um, Nice and peaceful and quiet, no fires, no parties. It's very cold tonight. The moon is so bright. Brian says in the winter it's really, really bright and massive. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. But yeah, it's a beautiful night out there, but cold. So I've got the fan heater on and my other field on. It's quite toasty in here actually. I'm looking forward to getting to my cozy bed with you two. Yeah, should we go to bed? See you in the morning. Good morning. Sleepy heads. <laughs> so Brian lent me this. It's a camper heater, and it's a lot more powerful than my overheater. So it's quite warm in here. It dropped cold last night, very cold. And then, but yeah, I had, me and the dogs were nice and toasty, weren't we? Where's your toasty? Your toasty boy. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, babies. So it's time for me to get dressed and take these two out for a wee, I think. <laughs> Evening all, excuse my face, I've just been out for a run. Um, beautiful out there. I was going to go for a swim but the beach was quite busy so I just had a plump for a run instead. I'm trying to get back on the healthy wagon. So I'm cooking myself a quick tea, doing it for a shower. And I say healthy but I'm going over to the pub in a bit with uh, Mick and Brown. <laughs> but oh well. I only open tomorrow so I can't have too much to drink anyway because I've got to get up early so tomorrow's my last day I'm in work for two days then I'm going up to Nairn and I've just had news today that my lovely sister's coming up the week after my mum so my mum's here for Monday to Friday and then my sister is coming up the Monday after so I'm gonna have company for two weeks that's great isn't it I'm gonna end this vlog I'm sorry I've not done a lot, um, I've just all done today's charge of van battery and worked and been for a quick run and you don't you don't want to see any of that. So 
hopefully the next one will be a little bit more interesting because I'm going up, me and these two are going up to Nan. I'm currently cooking some sausages so she thinks they're on the floor. So I'll pick it back up in the next one and I'll say thanks so, so much for watching everyone and all your lovely, kind, supportive comments as always. I'll see you in the next one. See you later.